Oh hey, what's up y'all? Just taking out Kanye's new album, Jesus is King. Should Christians be listening to it? Does it even speak God's truth and God's word? We're gonna be talking about that in this video. So hey, without further ado, let's go, let's go, let's get it. What is up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Scotty Bruh, and on this channel, I help you seek, know, and live biblical truth by answering questions and objections about the faith and giving you motivational and lifestyle tips to do just that. So hey, if you're interested, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can catch me in my next video. So I've been hearing a lot of controversy about this topic, especially from the Christian community. So I figured I'd make this video to kind of address some, some of these controversial topics and things that I've been seeing on social media. But the first thing I got to say is if you haven't listened to the album, I would encourage you listen to the album for yourself before coming to any conclusions about Kanye West and the album in general. Make sure you check that album out. Now the first thing that I'll say is his album, Jesus is King, promotes God's truth. So I listened to the album a couple of times and one of the things that really sticks out to me is the biblical references and scriptures that he's using in, in a lot of his songs. He's mentioning John chapter 8, 33, John 8, 36, 1 Corinthians 5, 17, and many other scriptures. So I just wanna say that his album promotes God's truth. And after listening to it several times, I haven't heard anything from the album that contradicts God's word and God's truth. And if you have, let me know in the comments, have you heard anything that, that contradicts God's word that I may have missed? Let me know in the comments down below. Which leads into my second point about this album and that's that Kanye really knows scripture. He's really been studying scripture I think it's important for any new believer to be diving into God's word, to be learning about who they are and understand that we are sinners saved by grace through faith and also to, to understand who Jesus is and why he came down here on earth. And Kanye really does share those things in a lot of his songs and it just shows the fact that he's really been diving into scripture. He even uses a lot of references like Jacob wrestling with God from the book of Genesis. He even references a wicked woman named Jezebel in one of his songs. And so Kanye is really seeking to know God's truth. And that's important for any believer, any Christian, is we should be diving into God's word and to be engulfing ourselves into its truth and sharing God's truth and not ours. Now, if you're wondering why I'm in the kitchen, it's because I haven't eaten yet. So stay tuned, because we about to get into the most important point right after I whip up a good bowl of oatmeal, because you gotta get your nutrition. Got this music popping, now I'm needing checks. Told my mama she don't even gotta stress. Taught to God and he told me that I'm blessed. Yeah, they hating because they know that I am next. Got this music popping, now I'm needing checks. Told my mama she don't even gotta stress. Taught to God and he told me that I'm blessed. Yeah, they hating because they know that I am next. No, I'm next. That's why they upset. I've been in the lab, got me feeling like I'm dead. Yeah, nonetheless, I don't need a flex. I've been such a workaholic, yeah, I'm so obsessed. I ain't chilling with you unless you want the west side. My God told me that I'm finna live my best life. Lately, I've been so damn driven like an S5. Now my ex tried to get a test drive. I don't let her. You already know how to get that oatmeal going one time. Now the most important point that I wanna make in this video is that God can use anybody. And if you don't believe me, just open up your Bible and you'll see the people that God uses to lift up his kingdom to share his truth. He uses a guy named Peter who ends up denying Jesus. He uses a tax collector named Matthew, which back at that time, that role, that job as a tax collector was looked down upon. He uses a guy named David who was an adulterer. He was a murderer. He uses a woman named Rahab who was a prostitute. He even uses a guy named Paul who wrote most of the New Testament we have today. And if you're familiar with who he was, this dude was a persecutor of Christians. He would literally kill Christians. And so if God can use those types of people, of course he can use a guy like Kanye West, even a person like you and like me. So I just want to remind you that God can use 
anybody. So we need to continue to pray for, you know, Kanye and his leaders and things like that, but also just this whole world, you know, and Kanye is allowing God to work in and through him, through his music. But let's not get so focused on what God is doing in somebody else's life without focusing on what God is doing in our own life, you know? How are you going out into the world and proclaiming Jesus as King? How are you using your gifts and your talents to lift up his name? You know, Kanye, he's using his gifts and his talents to do just that, but are you doing the same in the workplace and at home, wherever you find yourself? So let's not just look at Kanye and put him on the pedestal without looking at ourselves and asking, how am I proclaiming that Jesus is king wherever I go? Reflection question for you. What are your thoughts on Kanye's Jesus is King album? Have you found any contradictions? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave it a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I just hope that you continue to seek and know and live biblical truth in all that you do. Scotty bruh, and until next time, grace, peace. Thank you.